Hey everyone, this is your Austin realtor, David Mercedes, coming to you once again from the Colony Master Plan community here in the city of Bastrop. And we're touring this Perry Inventory Home. It is a 1956 H floor plan, and it features three bedrooms, two bathrooms, an office, two car garage, tall ceilings, covered patio, and so much more. It, this home recently had a good price improvement going from 472 down to 424. So that what's that? That's around 48k in price improvement. Now we have brick and limestone siding here in the front of the house. You'll find gutters as well. Beautiful landscape. And just note that you have that electric box right there. And there is another one right over there. As you can see, they did add some landscape around that one, but you will have to take care of that one over there. Now, this is the actual home for sale. So I'm going to show you around so you have an idea of what will be around you. Now, without further ado, let's head inside. Let's see what the, what's the, the 1956 age design by Perry Homes has to offer. As with all Perry Homes that we've seen, you have an eight foot tall door with the three glass elements, ring camera, keypad access, little butterfly. I think it's a butterfly. No, that's not a butterfly. Something. Ow. Enter the home, tall ceilings right away. Before we head down this way, let's take a look here at the front of the house where you will find the office space. 10 foot tall ceilings here in the office, plus four recess light over there. These windows are facing east, so you should be able to see the sunrise from here. Glass French doors. On this side, there is a window, and right across from the office, you will find the laundry room. So you can see down here, we have tile flooring throughout, smart switches in the, for the main switches, and then we have the kitchen, dining, and living room over there. We're gonna do the good old quick 360 and we're gonna get started here in the kitchen area. Plenty of recess light, beautiful peninsula with built-in seating and you also get a small island for extra storage. Beautiful granite counters, GE dishwasher, double undermounted stainless steel, Sink. You have the Delta faucet in there. Lots of cabinet and drawer space. None of them are soft closing. There is a pull out trash bin right in here. You have this beautiful hexagon backsplash over there. GE four burner stove stop, stove top. And then right adjacent to it, you'll find the GE oven and GE microwave. We have the same tile flooring throughout this great room. And here in the corner, you will find the pantry. And right next to the pantry, there is room for the fridge right in there. I'm gonna show you the kitchen from this angle before we head over to the dining room. So the dining room is right past the peninsula. So this will be your dining room space. So you have two windows there where the dining space will be right in here. And you also get some extra light from the front door Now, past the dining space, we have a large living room area 
four windows if we count that door as a window and why wouldn't we the glass on that door is almost bigger than the glass in the actual windows tall ceilings recess lighting and the ceiling fan right over there i'll show you the home from this angle primary is right down that way but before we go into the primary let's take a look at the covered patio and backyard so we have a great size covered patio back in here just the one outlet right down there and also the gas line over there so good size patio brick siding here at the back of the house no gutters either at the back or on the side those three windows go into the primary bedroom which is where we're headed next So carpet flooring here in the primary bedroom, three large windows with the picture frame, window right at the middle, tall ceilings, and a beautiful primary bathroom right down this way. Oh, you get the garden tap and the walk-in shower. Oh, let's go. I totally miss that. Dual vanities, delta faucets, granite counters, large mirror right over here. You can see your realtor right in the reflection of the mirror. Gray cabinetry down there. Tile flooring here in the primer, in the primary bathroom. Have a good size walk-in shower with a glass door, gray tile work, and then a good size royal garden tub right beneath the window in there. I love that it is a privacy window. Right down this way, we have the walk-in closet the walk-in closet goes a little bit down that way. And as you can see on screen, we have carpet flooring here in the closet. Now we have the linen closet left to see here real quick. And then let me turn these lights off real quick. And then we have the toilet room with the pro flow toilet right in there. Perfect. Turn the light off. Now back to the front of the house we go. Trying to turn as many lights off as we make our way back to the front for the sake of efficiency. Now that's the great room area. And down this way, you'll find full bathroom and then two bedrooms, one on either side. So good size bedroom, carpet flooring, tall ceilings, single window. We won't be spending much time in here. Good size walk-in closet. If you need more time to look at these bedrooms, just feel free to pause right now. Single window right in there. Same carpet flooring, tall ceilings once again. Oh, good size closet, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And right between both bedrooms, you'll find a coat closet. As you can see in there, your thermostat will be down this way. And right here, it is the secondary bathroom. Just one vanity in here, one sink in the 
ProFlow toilet and your garden and your shower tub combo. Now, I would have loved to see a double vanity or an extra half bathroom somewhere because that one bathroom will be used by your guests and whoever is in those two bedrooms. Now, right across from the kitchen, you'll find the mud room and down this way, access to your two car garage. We have two bays in here, garage door openers right over there, electric panel over there, and one, two, I'll count that as three steps going onto the main floor. Well, that brings us to the end of the tour. Uh, a little bit, something quick on pricing. Um, similar sales, similar homes that have sold over the last four months have this home at around 220 price per square foot. Even after the, what is it, 48K price drop, now this home is priced at around 217 price per square foot. So it is priced well, but it's not as good of a deal as the two previous Perry homes we've seen and the other four that I'm touring after. So if you don't wanna miss those, those other four tours, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, get in touch with me, shoot me a text, give me a call or follow a, or set up an appointment by following the link in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.